what it is everybody we back with another reaction video and we'll be reacting to once upon a deadpool trailer number three now i haven't seen this came up recommended i haven't seen any other reaction to this so i don't know if it's it was on um uh fox 20th century fox youtube channel so i'm curious to know what happens to the youtube channel since they're being bought up by Disney long if everything goes through, do they still kick? I know they're apparently Disney is keeping the 20th Century Fox name, like which is interesting because the 20th Century Fox technically still exists because they only sold the, the, the movie side of the, of the studio. They're keeping like the sports and everything else and the news and everything, but they're not keeping that, so it's interesting curious to know what their YouTube channel is going to change to uh, just 20th Century Fox with in parentheses Disney <laughs> but anyway let's just get into this once upon a day I'm actually looking forward to this I actually really enjoyed Deadpool 2 I think I liked I think I liked Deadpool 1 more but not by much it wasn't like some giant significant delight to me I still liked Deadpool 2. I still thought it was a pretty good movie. Um, I also liked the the the, the Juggernaut reveal was very was very surprising. I was like, how the fuck did they keep that secret? And nobody else said they must have been threatening people's kids. Like, with, <laughs> like if you reveal this, your life is over, and everybody you, and, and your whole family's life is over. But anyway, uh, let's get in. My hair on my mind. All right, here we go. <laughs> Where do you live? With Colossus, on a rent, stood. Why the mask? It's ugly. Why the jokes? Insecure. Why Princess Bride? I'm a fan. Why Celine Dion? I'm a bigger fan. Why the holidays? Thought it'd be fun. Why PG-13? It's a family movie. Also money. Also Disney. Why do you think all the Disney just took it off to swallow this? <laughs> Not sure this level of curiosity is cute coming from a middle-aged man strapped to a bed against his will. What on timing? Not on your f***ing life. Right before Christmas, a good guy at bread. I literally thought that was it for a second, even though I know how long it is. Why am I here? So I could read you the story of Deadpool 2, filtered through the prism of childlike innocence. It's safe for grandmas. I loved your working up. And approved for teens. Up. For the first time ever, Deadpool's PG-13. What the f- The only F-bomb we're using around here is Fred Savage. Once upon a day. Oh, I thought you were going to say friendship. <laughs> December 12th. Right before Christmas, a good guy in red is coming to theaters with his new sidekick, Fred. Why am I here? <laughs> You're in a PG-13. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Filtered <laughs> through the prism of childlike innocence. I'm a and nobody man. does childlike innocence like you, Fred. Nobody. I need you almost as much as you need me. I don't need you at all. You need me to untie you once we're done. Hi. I loved your working up. I'm sorry? Don't get too attached. Once upon a Deadpool. Yeah, wow. for Marvel movies. We are Marvel. Yeah, but you're, you know, Marvel licensed by Fox. It's like if the Beatles were produced by Nickelback. It's music, but it sucks. Ooh, you were nicer as a kid. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Marvel light for some reason. <laughs> I heard someone say that about uh about Sony. They're like uh they was like you can Marvel movies. He's like, nah, they really Marvel movies, he's like they kinda of like Marvel light. <laughs> oh, and then but it's funny, people as soon as they make a good one, people take credit for that, like the fans like, No, that's that's ours. That's a, it's a Marvel movie, so it counts. <laughs> it counts towards the MCU. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. I, w I really want to see it. When is it? When is it? When I said it comes out, I know it comes out December. December 12th. Oh shit, that's tomorrow. Uh, well, well, no. Coming out on a Tuesday? 
Or I guess with all this other shit coming out next week, they're like, well, we ain't got, we can't be competing with that shit. So, uh, it's just come out on the 12th. <laughs> come out, let's come out a little bit before I make our, make our little money to, to, you know, to go back with, to add it to the millions of dollars that we already made and then get the fuck out of the way. Because <laughs> Mary Poppins getting good reviews, Aquaman's getting good reviews, Bumblebee's getting good reviews, from what I've read, uh, Alita Battle Angels, I've heard getting some pretty good buzz. Uh, Welcome to Marvin looks like it might be, might actually be really, really good Oscar contender for Nick. Well, yeah, yeah, but Oscar's passed, so I guess they, they can still put it up. I guess they can still put it up next year. Um, but, anyway. That looks good. I don't like. I'm, I'm curious to know if that's an actual trailer number three or that's something. But like I said, it was on uh, the 20th Century Fox YouTube channel, so I don't know if somebody in charge of it edited or what. Anyway, still looked good. It looked just as good as it did before. I was, I'm all, I was always pretty excited about it. I'm still very excited about. It. I still want to see it. I might even watch Deadpool. Not tonight, but or this morning, but uh, tomorrow or this weekend or something. <laughs> Watch that just because I ain't gonna go see it tomorrow. That's true, but uh, this weekend, so maybe I'll go see it. But anyway, uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching my reaction. Uh, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.